One of the most important decisions you're going to make in your real estate career is picking the right broker. From that one decision of picking the right broker could actually determine whether or not you fail or succeed in the real estate industry. So I'm going to tell you right now, you need to take it really seriously. It is very important. I'm going to walk you through some things. First, it's about mentality. Like you got to ask yourself things about you. And then it's about step by step the things you should be doing to make sure you pick the right broker for you. Okay, so first off, I got my notes right here. You have to understand where you are at in life, right? So um, are you starting off like most people do? Like, are you a part time person? Um, are, are you or are you thinking about leaving a steady paycheck? Like you really have to figure out who you are. Um, are you the mom or the dad that has to pick up the kids and drop off the kids? So your schedule is a little bit limited. Do you have a full-time job and you're part-time in real estate? Um, do you have a really good steady paycheck? You know, so I just talked to someone today that make over a hundred, they make over $105,000 a year on their base job. And I tell them like, you may want to keep that job unless you have enough in savings to make this transition. Cause it may not be what you think it is. So maybe you need a part-time opportunity. And I got her connected with some different companies that might fit her a little bit better but you have to know exactly who you are in your situation so ask yourself those questions um is your schedule is restricting um what is your job looking like do you want to jump in do you not need the stability are you okay with just jumping in and making it full time so ask yourself those questions who you are so define that define that write it down um the other thing is what are you looking for in business so I find that there's there's different types of people. There's sometimes people come to me and they say, oh, I'm just looking to make uh, some side change. Uh, this is just to pay for some vacations here and there. This is a hobby because the kids are at school now, you know, stuff like that. Um, I also hear people, um, this is the most common one actually, people say, I just want to be comfortable. And I'm telling you, right, it's the most common thing I hear. And the most common thing I hear when I ask, I say, so comfortable, what does that mean? Most people say, Oh, I just want to make over a hundred thousand dollars a year. And I'm like, fantastic. That's awesome. Um, and then what I'd usually do is I walk them through an exercise, like really understanding what comfortable means for them. So I ask them questions about, okay, great. Let's define comfort. Um, what do you want out of comfort? And they, you know, we get deep into, do you want a lake house? Would you like to have a boat? Um, um, are you sending a kid to college? Are you paying for a kid's vehicle? Do you have elderly parents that you're going to be, need to be taking care of in the near future? Um, you know, all kinds of things. So we go down a battery of questions and we define what comfort looks like to them. Typically what I'm going to tell you is comfort looks like 175 to 350,000 for most people because they want things, right? Like when we talk about comfort, it's like, I want to be able to get away or I want to be able to go on vacations and all these different things. So make sure you know what comfort looks like to you. Cause that's the most common thing people tell me is I want comfort. And usually it's attached to a hundred thousand dollars and usually a hundred thousand dollars, especially after you pay uncle Sam and everything else isn't enough. So know what that is for you. Um, other people come at me and say, I'm looking to build an empire. you right. I want a massive fortune. I want to build an empire. I want to leave a legacy. I want, I want a portfolio of real estate investment properties. That's another type of person too. So you have to determine which type of the person you are, like really get to know yourself, ask those questions. Because if you don't have a, def a definite answer of you, who you are, uh, you're going to have a really tough time lining up with a broker because you don't know who the heck you are. So number one, find out who you are. We walk through all that. I ask those questions. So um, the next side is the other side. Now it's understanding researching of brokers. Now this is where we get into it. This is where I need you to take this very seriously. So there are so many different options, right? You have, so you have options that uh, there are some brokers who say, we're going to take 150 a transaction and we don't give you nothing. Like don't ask for nothing. We won't give you nothing. We don't care. There's no training. You're on your own. Figure it out. You have other brokerages that promise you leads, you know, and, and it may sound amazing. Oh, great leads. Great. When they give you tons of leads, now you're dependent on their business model and you're dependent on those leads. And it may be difficult for you to wean yourself off of that and build your own business because you're so used to their leads. And what happens if that broker gets out of the business or what happens when that broker loses license or to, decides to just to quit or, or, doing something else and now you're like I I have to follow this dude I don't know what's going on or this lady um, there's other brokerages that partner and grow your business alongside of you if you want to build a big business 
Um, there are brokerages that have a good give and take. It's called interdependent. There's there's so many different models. Like you're going to find tons of brokers in the Houston in tech in Texas in general, but especially in the Houston area. Um, I can give you a list of all the different brokers. You can Google it. You can find that yourself as well. Um, but the next part is really important. So with that being said, I highly suggest you interview at least five brokerages. Five different brokerages, some that maybe give you everything, some that give you nothing, some that are low cost, some that are high cost. Like look at five different brokerages. Look at maybe a boutique brokerage, like a small local brokerage. Look at some national franchise brokerages, some big brokerages, right? Um, just look at many different brokerages. Look at at least five. And this is important. Don't don't just jump with the first brokerage because they say the things you want to hear. What I'm going to tell you is when you're interviewing brokerages, most of them are going to offer you a spot day one. We got a spot for you. Come on. We got it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Sign up today. Come in the office. We'll get you signed up. You may want to be a little bit leery of that. I'm going to challenge you to take a little bit more time. So if you have five brokerages and these three brokerages say, come on in and sign up. And these two say, well, it's an interview process. We're going to take a little time. Who we get in business with? Finish these interview process. If the interview process is finished with all five and you feel like, oh, I still want to go with this one right here, offer me a spot on day one or this one, absolutely fine. What I'm telling you is take your time, interview all of them, line them all up, because in the process, it's not just about picking a brokerage and getting started. It's about learning. So one brokerage may teach you something about another brokerage that you see value here, there, wherever. So take your time. Um, in the interview process, I suggest you speak to several agents at that brokerage. Find two to three agents at each of those five brokerages and just ask them questions, right? I'm telling you, this is serious. Most of you are thinking, well, I'm just going to pick a brokerage and go, or I've got a friend who's a broker, or blah, blah, blah. That's fantastic. Here's the problem, guys. This isn't about your friend or your friend's brokerage. This isn't about the first brokerage that feed you sandwiches in your real estate course. This is about feeding your family. This is about your future. This is about your career. If it's a part-time gig, it's about the best vacations. I don't know, but it's a serious investment. This is a serious decision. Take your time. So here's some of the questions I come up with. Um, uh, so when you talk to the people that are at the brokerage, some questions you can ask is, is what they told you it would be actually what it is? Are there any things I, know, I need to know that you wish you have known before joining this brokerage? How many transactions have you closed? Of those transactions, do you attribute your success uh, to anything you learned or received from the broker or company? What brokerage did you interview with besides this one? How did you come to choose this brokerage over the others and why? All right, important questions. Then you start to ask yourself, um, uh, these type of, are these type of people that I want to be around with for the next five years? That's a, that's a solid question. Do I want to be around these type of people for the next five years? Is this environment the environment that can help me make make me into the person and real estate agent that I want to be? How many agents in this office are achieving success levels that I wish to accomplish? How accessible are those agents to me and how open are they to share with me? That's a big one. Um, what resources are there are there where I can use them to grow on my own as I grow my business? Like are there videos, are there coaching, are there courses, are there group coaching, are there, are there, cons are there classes like all the time that you can learn from? Um, are the agents teaching classes, mentoring, are the agents that are teaching the classes and mentoring, are they successful? Are so the agents that are in the thick of the business that can teach you things right now? What we're learning right now in this market is different than the market I got in 05. It was different than the market I got in two or three years ago. We are in a totally new market. If you're getting taught classes by someone who isn't in the, in the thick of it and in the mud in the trenches right now, you may be getting a bad education. It may be hurting you. So ask these questions. You need to learn those things. Um, so overall, those are those are things I can help you with as far as picking the best broker for you. I hope this helps. I hope you make the right decision for you and your family. I hope you take it seriously and interview five companies and go all the way through the process and ask all these questions like I told you to. It is serious. Take your time. Um, joining that right company could change your life. It could turn your business into everything you want it to be. It could give your family financial freedom. Like it's amazing. So take it seriously. Um, if you need any, if you have any questions, need any help, if you want a list of brokerages or you want to, uh, you know, just a little bit more breakdown on basically what I know about some of these brokerages, holler at me. I can help you. Um, I'll, I'll completely be non-biased. I just want you to make the best decision for you and your family. It's important. I know when I joined, I just joined a buddy and it took me about six years to find my way in this business, which is really tough. Um, 
Again, my name is Ozzy Ramirez. I'm with Agents Empowering Agents. I run a team here out of Houston, Texas called the AskOzzy.com Real Estate Team. I'm with EXP Realty, and um, I just love helping people. So any way I can help you to grow, please let me know. I'm here for you. I hope to hear from you guys. Go to our Agents Empowering Agents Facebook page and watch all the videos and learn as much as you can. It's all free. There's no registration. There's no nothing. Go to the YouTube ch channel and watch the videos as well. Instagram, like I said, we still need to work on that a little bit. It. We'll follow our Instagram as well. Have an amazing day. Bless you guys. Go and get it. Bye-bye.